Good morning and uh, welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday. Uh, today we're kind of starting the uh, Windsor chair process. I have a, uh, a lot of capabilities and uh, skills that we don't currently have. Um, so we're kind of building up to it. So today I built, uh, we're going to build this uh, this bending jig and we're going to build a steaming chamber and we're also going to practice making these oak bows for the Windsor chairs. Uh, we got two successful ones and any number of non-successful uh, ones. So Stay tuned if you want to see how we do all this, and let's knock off the chit-chat and get to work. I'm calling this project the Wood Bending Steamer. It will be a, a box a nine and a half inches square and six feet long. It will be made uh, out of three-quarter inch exterior plywood and held together with nails. Let's get to work on this box. Since the box is going to be six feet long, I'm taking the uh, two foot, a two foot section off the end of this. The steamer I'm using uh, doesn't seem, I don't know squat about steamers, but this one doesn't seem to be very, very big. So I'm going to make the interior of my wood bending steamer a couple inches uh, smaller than our original plant. Put a little shelf in there about an inch off the bottom to keep the uh, keep the wood pieces from being down in the water. This real little uh, railroad track here I'm building is what's going to hold the piece off, off the bottom. But it'll still allow a free flow of steam within the chamber. I'm connecting up uh, three of the boards with nails and then I'll put the last board on I think with screws so that I can get in so I can get into the thing if I need to. I'm using uh, inch and a quarter deck screws. What I'm doing now is putting the back on this thing. What I'm doing here is making the uh, door. This will, what it'll be is a kind of a plug that will seal the front. Okay, here's the scam. We got our six foot box. Uh, that little steam generator right there. It's a wallpaper steamer blows the steam in through the top right there. I didn't know where to put that in so I put it about the center. And then down here at the bottom we have our tricky little door. Okay, it sounds like to me we need to knock off the chatter and light this thing off. Okay, I got our uh, I got the wallpaper steamer plugged in. Hose goes in the top right there. I installed a couple of thermostats. They haven't uh, moved yet. Over here on the door, I installed a couple of little pins here. Hold the door in. Let's let this thing heat up. And I'll come back when we get some temperature. Well, something's happening. We're up to almost 140 on the upper gauge and we're at about 
125, 130 there on the bottom gauge and we got condensate running out on the floor. Well it's up to 160. Let me, uh, instead of wasting this time, let's uh, put a piece of Put a piece of wood in it, and while we're waiting, it to, waiting for it to heat up, we can see what it does to a piece of wood. We're at 180 on the top, and almost 200 on the bottom. So let's build us a form and see if we can uh, bend that piece of wood I put in there. Okay, how it's supposed to work is I take that piece of wood we put in there and bend it around this form. Then I got these pegs stuck in there and they come out. Then you put your wedge in there and drive the wedge in and that holds it against the form. Okay, I got, I got the wide wedges and narrow wedges. I got, uh, I got some holes that are farther away from the form. Okay, this is all supposed to happen fast, so I'm going to take the piece out of the steamer and bring it over here and see what kind of damage we can call, cause. Well, I guess I'm going to have to try tomorrow because I broke this. Well, I got this thing cooking again. It's up to speed and uh, I put three more uh, boards in there uh, so we can uh, practice bending them. We didn't do too good on the first one. Here's the first one. Not too pretty, huh? Now what I got to learn to do is by myself I got to be able to bend our piece of wood around this frame in about 40 seconds and secure it with these wedges. A little strip of wood in here just to 
practice putting the wedges in but I've got three practice pieces in the oven so that should be fun trying to figure that out what I want to do is I'm going to bring that piece of wood over here put it around this frame so I'll put it in the frame pull it around here and then I'll drive the wedges in drive that one in there drive that one in there and I can push on this single I can push on this single side here that one in there okay I'm gonna come over here with the piece of wood I'm gonna put it on here I'm gonna put it on this form right here I kinda of let this one flop uh oh I think I need to put a piece of let that one kind of flop and then I'll bring this one all the way over and catch it in that form then I'll work on this side over here okay and I gotta do all this in 40 seconds okay here we go okay it's hot well that didn't work I got it, uh, I got it part way around. You can see this part made the corner pretty good, but it, but it split here and it split up at the other end. Well, let's get out another piece of wood and try it again. Hey, here's take two. I would, uh, I'd let that thing steam a little longer Maybe some of that wood gets softer, but uh, my steamers run out of uh, water, so I don't have a choice. Okay, we have a winner. We got that one to bend all the way around. I I figured it's just going to break again, so I didn't even uh, even up the ends. On the next one, I'll I'll even up the ends. Hey, let me tell you what's going on on this. Uh, some of them splitting, and some of them not splitting. Uh, when these Windsor chair bows are normally uh, bent out of a, uh, a piece of wood that's, uh, that's been split off a, log a larger log. And what this does is that ensures all the grain goes the full length of the piece. Because when you split, when you split something, it's going to go right down the grain. Now, sawed, that this is split. Sawed lumber, on the other hand, that same piece of wood, that grain can be going anywhere. It can have, it can have grain that goes long ways, but then it can have grain that's diagonal so 
when you split it, it's gonna, it's gonna break right along those diagonals. And you get one really bad that's all diagonal. Now when you try to split that, it's gonna break every which way. Okay, you can really see that in this one here. The, the, the grain ran on the inside for this really tight turn. It was fine, but there were some diagonal grains right in here, and so this edge here split off. On that uh, one small piece we tried to do, here the diagonals ran the entire width of the, of the uh, piece of wood, so when it split, when it cracked, it completely broke off because there was no grain running continuous. And on this piece, even though it was larger, the grain was uniform and went end to end all the way, uh, all the way around, so it's, it uh, bent real nice. Now the other piece that I have in the cooker now is off this same piece of wood, but that doesn't mean anything because you can have straight grain and then it can just switch off to uh, be diagonal. Okay, I'm going to, uh, the temperature got down to about 140 on the, in the steamer and I got it coming back up to speed now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I continue to steam this thing for about an hour more uh, get it as soft as possible uh, before we try to bend it okay here we go test bow number three Well, here's our work. It looks like we uh, have another success. With practice, I'll be able to do it quicker. Alrighty then, I guess that just about do it for another Memphis Monday. We got our excellent little steamer here done. Works real good. We built our bending jig and we actually bent a couple of pretty good uh, bows here. Uh, so I think we got our money's worth. What is this? This, my friends, is tuition in the uh, school of hard knocks. This is the one that uh, the grain was going the wrong way and I also uh, I didn't get it around the jig fast enough. So you got to work fast, but well under a minute, because as soon as that cools out, cools off, it ain't going to work anymore. Okay, this uh, is really the start of the Windsor chair pro uh, uh, project. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of capabilities that, uh, and talents and skills that I don't have right now, but we have a bending jig now, and we got a, <coughs> and we got a uh, steamer now, and hopefully uh, over the next uh, few weeks, we're going to build a Windsor chair. So, anyway, I'm going to knock off the chatter. Make sure you comment and like and favorite and Facebook and tweet, want want want. But most important is to be back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for watching. No student loans for me.